Okay, how to wire a plug. A very important life skill. Some dad knowledge. I am a qualified dad. I'm also a qualified electrician. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, standard 13 amp three pin plug that you would find in any shop. As you can see, it comes with a handy little wiring diagram. We'll set that aside for a second. I'm just gonna open it up, turn that center screw, just like so. Have a quick look inside and see what we get. So you can see now how our wiring diagram maps on there. So there's our 13 amp fuse. They'll all come with a standard with a 13 amp fuse. So the live always goes to the fuse side. Your neutral always goes to the left and your earth always goes to the top. And there you can see it right there. That's how your diagram works. Okay, we're gonna put our three core flex into our plug. So you're gonna have something that looks similar to this. Now in order to strip flex, it's pretty easy. It's gonna take our knife and I'm just gonna score it all the way around. We want make sure we don't cut into the inner core. So we'll score that outer sheet and then we just bend it all the way around like that. And you see it snaps and we haven't scored the inner sheet. Just pull that off. And that reveals our inner cores live neutral earth let's get this into the plug okay to get our flex into the plug then we have to cut our cores to length now we want to make sure this part here this is the cord clamp so we want to make sure that's catching the outer sheet we're not catching the inner cores in that it must be the outer sheet so you can see the live is the shortest one here our earth is going to be the longest so i'm just going to cut that one there and then i'm going to bend this around that's our neutral and that's going to go in there just like that so i'm just going to snip all these at their length and I'm gonna get them in place. When it comes to stripping the cable, I'm just gonna use my pliers. So it's just a slight pinch, then a push off, and you should uh, be able to pull off the outer sheet. Again, this is all just a little bit of practice. I've been doing this for 25 years, so it's easy for me. A little bit of practice, you guys can do it too. Now, when you're preparing the end of your cable, or your, your wire, because it's a flexible, you want to just twist it up before you put it into the connection. Now, technically, all these flexible connections must be furled um, if we're going to put them in a screw connection. But you guys are not electricians. You're not going to have a crimping tool and you're not going to have furls to hand. So just give it a good twist up and make sure you get a good solid connection and that goes into it properly. Okay, when we are finished, it should look something like this. So our earth is our longest core always, our live to our fuse, our neutral to the left side, just like that. Just check your connections, make sure they're good and solid. Give them a little tug, just make sure they don't pop out. You don't want any spare strands sticking out or anything like that. Make sure all the strands are in the terminal and they are pinned under that screw. And again, don't over tighten it because you can shear the copper. And make sure, as you can see, the outer sheet is caught under our cable clamp very 